Gregor Mendel was born in the year 1822 in a small village in what is now the Czech Republic. He came from a family of poor farmers, but even as a child he was curious about the world around him, especially nature, plants and how things grew. Despite limited money Mendel's family supported his education. He showed promise in science and math eventually joining a monastery in Brno. That monastery would become not only his home, but the place where he would make a discovery that changed biology forever. At the St. Thomas Abbey, Mendel lived as a monk, teaching and doing scientific research on the side. He had access to a beautiful garden, a greenhouse, and plenty of time for thinking. But what truly fascinated him was why children looked like their parents. Why some plants were tall while others were short, or why some had green seeds and others yellow. At that time most people believed traits were blended together. For example, if a tall plant and a short plant had offspring, people thought it would produce medium-sized plants. But Mendel had a different idea. He believed that traits were inherited in specific, predictable ways, and he set out to prove it. Why did Mendel choose pea plants? Because they were easy to grow, had clear opposite traits like purple versus white flowers, reproduced quickly, and let him control how they were pollinated. Over the course of eight years, Mendel carefully crossbred more than 28,000 pea plants. He tracked traits like flower color, plant height, seed shape, and pod color. He recorded every result with great precision, acting like a human computer long before computers existed. From his results, Mendel discovered that traits are passed from parents to offspring as individual units, now called genes. Some traits are dominant, meaning they appear more often. Others are recessive meaning they are hidden unless two copies are present. These traits segregate independently and follow mathematical ratios. He formulated Mendel's laws of inheritance, the law of segregation. Each parent gives one of two possible genes, the law of independent assortment. Traits are passed independently of one another. The law of dominance, some genes dominate others. These laws became the foundation of modern genetics. Mendel published his findings in 1866 in a local scientific journal, but almost no one noticed. His ideas were too advanced for the time, and most scientists ignored him. Mendel returned to his quiet life at the monastery, eventually becoming abbot. He died in 1884, never knowing how important his discovery would become. It was not until 1900, 16 years after Mendel's death, that three scientists, de Vries, Korins, and von Schirmach, independently rediscovered his work. Suddenly the world realized what Mendel had done. He had unlocked the secret code of life. Today, he is known as the father of genetics. His pea plants led to our modern understanding of DNA and genes, hereditary diseases, genetic engineering, evolution, and medicine. Schools and universities teach his experiments